Introducing the first ever panel event of women supporting men, talking about women supporting men. She for He is a road that's much less traveled, but deeply compelled by a sense of responsibility for what happens to all of us and those we care about. What's resonating with me is not talked about anywhere. Men's issues aren't talked about in public, in government, or at schools. Here, once a month, we're doing it at the UTMIAS, but where else in Canada's largest city is there a regular intellectual discussion on men's issues? But what I care about is the hijacking of our justice process by your average citizen and by law enforcement as a means to attack someone rather than to defend or to get the truth. I admit it's a bit discouraging when in exploring the established social services infrastructure in Toronto on behalf of our group that I'm told very clearly through it that all my male loved ones, my brothers, husband, and father, that they matter less, if at all. Because when it's 20 times the workplace fatalities today, and more than half of all domestic abuse victims dismissed by society, dismissed by police, dismissed like the male majority of those homeless, suicidal, or wrongfully accused. Yet in Canada, until the founding of the new Canadian Center for Men and Families, have zero dedicated social support services, men in Canada today are plainly disposed of, or are put away, put away from us, put away from themselves, their future, and all too often put away from their own children. Whether you're a man or a woman, this is really all our help. And tonight, for the first time, You'll have the opportunity to see how we stand in this special place in hell, speaking as women of the men's movement. Thanks for joining us tonight. Please welcome our panelists. Yola is a researcher for the Canadian Association for Equality and a recent public policy master's graduate at the University of Toronto. Yola contributes research briefs on men's issues and writes regularly for CAFE's blog. She was previously a volunteer at Amnesty International, Women's College Hospital, and War Child Canada. Yola joined CAFE because she strongly believes that gender equality means that men who are victims of violence and discrimination by our laws and policies should be acknowledged and that their concerns should be addressed appropriately by health centers and laws alike. Welcome, Yola. Karen is a professional fundraiser and a chartered professional accountant. She currently serves as the fundraising lead for the Canadian Centre for Men and Families in Toronto and with nearly 15 years of business experience in the, the for-profit corporate sector. Karen has also worked on fundraising initiatives for charitable, various charitable organizations both in Canada and in the US. Karen's interest in men's issues comes from the very personal place of bearing witness to the struggles of a number of men in her life. In addition to her work with the Canadian Centre for Men and Families, Karen fundraises for an organization that seeks to empower women and girls in sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in their right to access reproductive health services. Welcome, Karen. Next, we have Ellen Campbell, a survivor of childhood sexual abuse with a long road to healing. Canadian Centre for Abuse Awareness CEO and founder Ellen Campbell translated her own recovery into hope for others. In 1993, she organized the first national conference for adult survivors of sexual abuse. The Canadian Centre for Abuse Awareness is a national charitable organization that has served Canadians since then. Its mandate is to significantly reduce the incidence and impact of abuse through education and public awareness.
They are a national leader in the, government, in the development of programs to prevent abuse and advocating for the rights of those who have been abused. In 1998, a program was established to address sex scandal at the Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto, and it's still managed to this day to, by the Canadian Centre for Abuse Awareness. Over 130 organizations, including the Canadian Centre for Men and Families, are supported nationally by the Centre, including Children's Services, Victim Services, Shelters, and other agencies for both men and women. As CEO and founder of the Canadian Centre for Abuse Awareness, the name Ellen Campbell has become synonymous with abuse prevention and recovery in Canada. The CCAA is a member also of the Association of Missing and Exploited Children and the Ontario Public School Board's Association's Violence and the Media Coalition through Ms. Campbell's participation. Welcome to the panel, Ellen Campbell. Heidi Nabert is the co-founder and director of Fathers Resources International and has been an activist for over three decades, focused on the rights of children to maintain an ongoing parenting relationship with their father after a separation or divorce. She has co-hosted Toronto's longest running free support group for fathers facing separation and divorce along with their, her husband, Danny Gusby who lost his battle with cancer 14 months ago. She continues to host the support group as well as offer all of the Father's Resources International services, including a comprehensive library of divorce education, audios and materials, and divorce coaching specifically designed for fathers. In addition, she continues to help with, the family, with family court self-representation and full representation assistance alongside the family lawyers she works with. As an international activist for divorce reform, she has presented to committees of all levels of government, as well as over 60 hours of live national television appearances and radio interviews. Her print interviews include those with the National Post, the Global Mail, Toronto Star, the Ottawa Citizen, and many international publications. Heidi is a child of a divorce survivor. At age five, she no, she no longer had a relationship with her father and grew up without benefiting from the parenting she should have been entitled to receive from him. She believes in shared parenting and that it's a child's right to benefit from both parents as a family breaks up. Theron Mayer is the president of the Advocacy for Men and Boys Club at Simon Fraser University, and a leader in the students' movement for men's human rights. She has been interviewed by and featured in major news articles and news outlets such as the Daily Extra, the Huffington Post, Canada, and the Globe and Mail. As a trans woman, Theron provides valuable insights into the world of gender politics on her rapidly growing YouTube channel under her name and with the unassailable reason and logic that she employs to impart these insights to the world. In other words, she doesn't stop brawling until there isn't a single gender ideologue left standing. Welcome, Theron. <laughs> 